to the word in South Shields. We're going to take you on an audio tour through this building. Uh, let's move across to here. Uh, uh, the books. <coughs> this is where we notice the biggest change in acoustic environment as we walk from the open plan into the books. Leaving the sound of the atrium behind, the whole response of this space changes in time. We want our building to sound like that, is what many architects and clients told us when they heard that little piece of film. So we just made that casually on a mobile phone. Actually, it was for another ANC award entry a few years ago. But with a response so powerful to a proposal for acoustic design, we realised we should be using this type of material more often. There's a change of emphasis in the world of real estate from evaluation against benchmark design criteria and towards an evaluation of how well do buildings actually perform in use for the occupants. Look at standards like well or fit well, look at the conditions for the occupants or the Better Buildings Partnership looks at the energy performance in use. And this has never been more important than at a time like now, where we've all evacuated all our offices and we're thinking about how we're going to use them again in future. They'll need to meet our acoustic needs in practice. Here's a little example of a film uh, video that we made more recently. So this is a building that meets the benchmark design criteria, but the occupants were unhappy with it, far too noisy. Have a listen. There's a popular refrain that architects don't design with their ears, but if they did, what would it sound like and what would the process be? Have a listen to this building that by all accounts is very popular with the occupants. This is a quick walk through the floor space. As you enter the reading room, you see the collaborative areas with high tables and booths. Then there is the open plan areas. With So our new method is all about creating a system for benchmarking the acoustic performance in use. Before we start filming, we have to survey the building, get an appreciation of the different soundscapes and how they vary across the building and at different times. Think about how we can capture those, then reproduce and even juxtapose different images to maximum effect. So we're using point of view video and point of hearing audition so that what you hear is exactly what somebody who was standing at that place or sitting at that place would have heard in the building. There are many more challenges in this method and using this type of media, but it's such a great communication tool because it overcomes all the jargon. We don't need to talk about reverberation times or ambient noise or anything else. People can hear what it sounds like and decide if they want their building to sound like that or not. <laughs> 